Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another World of Warcraft Beginner's Guide video. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about dungeons. Simply put, dungeons or instances allow you to group up with four other players to kill elite mobs, complete specific quests tied to that dungeon, earn XP and achievements, and snag some fabulous loot such as gear, pets, or mounts. The instance is created and scaled just for your party, so you won't have to worry about any other random player characters entering the dungeon with you. At level 15, you'll be able to queue for random dungeons, or you can choose to select a specific dungeon. Random dungeons you complete will reward you with money, XP, and some form of a satchel of goods that typically includes some leveling gear. Before you head into the dungeon, check out your adventure guide. This contains information about the dungeon, provides a map showing where the bosses are located, and a section for all of their abilities, a 3D model of that boss, and then finally, the loot that you can obtain for your class and spec. The default gear that will show will be for a five-man normal run of the dungeon. As your level becomes higher, you'll find that some of the dungeons also have a heroic version, which typically are more difficult, may add an additional boss, and the gear is significantly better. Keep in mind, though, that these gear rewards are potential drops and not guaranteed. Click the group finder, and the dungeon finder should be already the default tab. Click the drop-down menu to determine what kind of dungeon you'd like to queue for in your leveling range. Don't forget to pick your role at the top. As a newer player, I suggest selecting a DPS role until you become familiar with these dungeons. Once you've selected Find Group, you'll get this little green eye buddy that hangs out on the side of your minimap that shows you the status of your dungeon and approximately how long you'll be waiting to get into one. You can leave the dungeon queue at any time by right-clicking on the eye and clicking Leave Queue. When the new group is formed, a new window will pop up letting you know that a group was found and it's time to join. Click Enter Dungeon and it will automatically teleport you to the entrance. Once you're in the dungeon, you'll typically be greeted by NPCs that have quests to offer that range from killing a certain number of specific mobs within the dungeon, collecting a particular item, or killing a boss. These quests offer some great XP rewards or gear upgrades, so try and take those when you see them. There are three roles that make up the dungeon group. These include one tank, one healer, and three DPS dealers. Your tank is the one that will typically lead the group, pulling mobs, keeping the threat focused on them, and taking the majority of the damage. The healer is responsible for keeping the group alive by healing any damage taken and resurrecting players when needed. And finally, the DPS of the group deals damage to the mobs. As you're traveling through the dungeon with your group, if you're a DPS or a healer, be careful not to pull any of the mobs yourself. Let the tank be the one to set the pace of the dungeon and allow everything to attack them. Additionally, if you have a pet that can pull aggro off the tank, make sure those abilities are turned off before entering the dungeon. Try to be aware of your surroundings as much as you can. If you see you're standing in something and it looks precarious, chances are it's killing you. Try to stay out of those types of pools and puddles. Keep in mind that as you're working through completing dungeons, you'll be running with four other people that most likely already know the fights and where to go. This can seem a bit frustrating as you may notice you'll get left behind if you don't keep up. Don't stress out about this. Keep up as best as you can and just let everyone know that you're new. If you make a mistake and someone calls you out on it, just apologize and move on. Learn from the mistakes you make, keep trying, and chances are they'll be cool about it. A lot of the vanilla dungeon content is very relaxed, and unless you are causing the group to continuously wipe or wreaking all kinds of havoc, you shouldn't have much of a problem with the players you get grouped with. However, there are those times when you may encounter people that aren't as helpful and may even be downright toxic. Just finish up the dungeon group if you can, and ignore those players that don't have anything better to do than rag on other people. Sometimes, they forget what it's like to be new. It's bound to happen. Maybe you did slip into that fire that was underneath your feet, or there was just an overload of mobs, but guess what? You died. Now what do you do? 
Back in the day, after releasing your spirit, you'd spawn at the cemetery somewhere outside of the instance and have to find the entrance. This made making sure you knew how to get into the dungeon super important. Nowadays, if you perish and your healer is unable to resurrect you first, you'll respawn back at the beginning of the dungeon where you arrived. You'll just need to find your way back to your body. Hopefully you remember the path you took. If not, just simply follow the map. After you've killed the last boss and completed the dungeon, it'll be time to turn in all of your quests. Sometimes the NPCs will spawn right where you are, making it easy to turn them in. In the instance that they don't though, you don't have to run all the way back through the dungeon to turn it in. As long as your group is still formed, go up to the green eye on the edge of your minimap, right click and select teleport out of dungeon. Right click it again and select teleport to dungeon which will take you right back to the beginning of the instance where you can turn in your quests and nab your sweet rewards. Getting to determine whether an item is for you while you are killing mobs and bosses has never been easier. You get what is called personal loot and it's specifically designed for your class and spec. You can change loot specialization if you're looking for off spec loot by right clicking on your portrait, loot options, and the loot specialization flyout menu. Dungeons in World of Warcraft can be a great way to start interacting with other players, as well as the ability to start really understanding the mechanics of your class. Feel free to add any of your tips and tricks down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, and share it with your friends. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next video.